everyone, it's Sabrina here from Traveling Single Mom and today I wanted to do an Amazon don't buys for full-time travel. And let me explain what I mean by that. So I can only go by my experience and I went through my Amazon um, orders and I came up with a list of things that we no longer carry with us while we are traveling, whether we left those in China, whether we left those in the United States with my mom or broke, whatever the case may be, we no longer have them. So I wanted to give you this list and I will put the links in the description because everybody travels different and some people might be like, yes, that's exactly the product I was looking for. And some people might be like, yeah, I agree with you, you don't need it. So I just wanted to give you my experiences with these products and why I would say not to to buy them so I put these in no particular order I think they were in order of like my purchases from Amazon but the first one that I have is the hydro flask and I will put a picture of all of these because I no longer carry them with me I'll put a picture of them right here so you can see the product that I'm talking about so the hydro flask there is a lot of publicity around this uh, water bottle and I think that it is a very high quality water bottle but I think it is unnecessary so first of all it is very heavy even when it is empty and second of all it takes up a lot of space in your backpack so our alternative to this was a collapsible water bottle which we got here in Mexico for um, about $10 and it's a very good quality water bottle. Safari takes it to school with her every single day. So that is our alternative to that. And because it's made of silicone, it's very, very lightweight. So we love that about it because your backpack is not necessarily about how much you can fit in it, but it's about how much it weighs, especially for many airlines such as Spirit, which we are traveling with in May of next year. So that is number one. Number two is the reusable utensils. So I, doing all of this research to prepare for us to go abroad, I came across a lot of people who are um, low waste, zero waste, trying to be um, like friendly to the environment and I completely support that so I was like yes we're gonna get um, reusable utensils and we're gonna take them with us everywhere we go but the thing is that it's just advertisement people are putting these these utensils that actually cost nothing <laughs> like the utensils that you get for 50 cents a piece at Walmart, they're putting them together and putting them in a little travel bag and charging you $12 for them on Amazon. And I fell for it. So we both got these travel utensil cases and they ended up being a lot larger than I thought anyways, each individual utensil. So we took them with us to China, but we in didn't end up using them very often. And we kind of used them just as regular utensils just at our house and not not taking them with us everywhere because they weighed so much for what they were so as an alternative to that we got um kind of like a, a spork but there's like a spoon on one side a fork on one side and then there's a serrated um, knife edge I guess on one of the sides of the fork so it's like a three-in-one type of utensil and it came with a cute little carrying case for five dollars here in Mexico so that's the alternative that we used for that and I love it because it's very lightweight it's one utensil used for three purposes it's perfect for us so number three is the Travelon anti-theft purse. So I thought that I wanted to be the most um, safe and protect against any type of uh, people stealing our bag, anything like that. So I got the travel on purse. And it was very useful in China, but the thing was, first of all, I'm not really a purse person. I like to carry my backpack a lot more than I do a purse. But second of all, I think that it costs a lot for what it actually is. I think that if somebody is going to try to rob you, they're going to find a way to do so. And it just, the, the expense of it comes with the mesh that is in intertwined in the material of the bag and I just don't feel like the price is worth the protection that it gives you so that's my personal opinion some people 
absolutely love the Travel On brand and what they're about. Personally, I just don't feel that it's worth the cost. Number four is a toiletry bag. And a lot of you may think, um, hello, you need some type of toiletry bag. So we personally don't need a toiletry bag. I've talked a little about this before and I'm going to do a toiletries video before we leave Cuernavaca, but we don't travel with toiletries. Um, we'll travel with two brushes. We have a little five millimeter container of toothpaste, but we don't really travel with toiletries as a typical person would. So the toiletries that we travel with fill up less than half of an ipsy bag the little tiny ipsy bags so that's all that we travel with in regards to toiletries so when we first started traveling i thought we needed this huge like those fold out um toiletry bags and then i realized that that was much too big for us so then i got a little bit smaller one when we went back to the united states and that was still a decent size of our back like amount of space for our backpack and so after we came here to Cuernavaca and I started realizing why am I carrying toiletries with me soap shampoo conditioner all of these things that take up so much weight in your backpack because they're liquid so we just stopped carrying those and then eventually got our toiletries bag down to pretty much nothing so number five is a digital luggage scale. So I thought that this was a must have for travel, especially trying to keep your weight down for, I heard Ryan Airlines, but I haven't been to Europe yet. I heard um, Spirit Airlines, all these ones that only let you have a personal bag. So I thought, oh yes, we have to carry a digital scale with us. But the thing is that if you travel thinking, oh, I have to have the weight just right, then you're already overpacking. So you have to think with the mentality of, do I absolutely need this to travel? And that's the way that we think. Granted, we have a lot of luxury items in our bags that we don't need or that other people don't need, but are comforts to us. But it's just something that you have to think about within yourself because everybody's bag is completely individual. And as long as you think about things in the way of do I absolutely need this or is this something that makes me truly happy such as the minimalism mentality then it's going to be a lot easier for you to pack way underweight and that's of course what you want to do because you don't want to have this bag that fits the airplane requirements but it's so heavy you don't even want to carry it and that's what I did when I went to China the first time it was horrible and I don't wish that upon anybody so number six it goes along with the travel on brand the pack safe vibe backpack so I thought the same thing I didn't want somebody to be able to slash my backpack I didn't want somebody to be able to easily get in and there's locks on all of the zippers I thought it was a great idea but then when I first received the backpack in the mail I instantly realized that I was probably wrong about that because of the mesh intertwined in the material um, the backpack is shaped really weird so it's a 25 liter backpack but I can fit half or less of what I can fit in a regular say Jansport backpack so I just thought that it, it felt heavy to me even when it was empty it just wasn't a good fit for me and it looks like an expensive backpack and that is absolutely what I'm trying to avoid I want my backpack to look as cheap as possible so nobody wants to rob me so number seven is the ALPS mountaineering one person tent so as I've said in many of my videos, when I first left for China, I wanted to be prepared literally for the world to end. So I got a tent, a sleeping mattress, a sleeping bag, all of these things. And as I said previously, my backpack was so unbelievably heavy. And then I quickly realized we're not the tent camping type of people. Yes, I love camping, but that's not how we're choosing to travel we live in airbnbs we live in hotels we don't need a tent with us and so some of you are absolutely going to be campers or in the united states maybe and you want to camp around the united states or in different countries that's your your option for accommodation and then absolutely i would recommend this tent because it is an amazing tent it's super easy to set up and it you can buy the the tarp 
for underneath separately and all of these different things that make it an amazing tint however I just think that for my option of traveling it's unnecessary my personal opinion so along with that is the winter outfitters mummy sleeping bag and this was one of the cheapest sleeping bags that I could find that was a really um for a really low um temperature and it was only I don't even remember I think maybe forty dollars when I bought it and it's a really good tent and it packs up pretty small or I mean a uh, sleeping bag and it packs up pretty small for a sleeping bag however you don't need a sleeping bag and that's just my personal opinion it depends of course how you travel and where you're going to if it's hot or cold but we stay in Airbnbs and hotels like I said so there's going to be sheets and blankets there if we need them and we have other options in our backpacks in regards to blankets and things like that so I just think that a sleeping bag is way too much space in our backpack and it's unnecessary for how we decide to travel um, number nine <laughs> is outdoorsman lab ultralight sleeping mattress and it goes along with the tent the sleeping bag and the sleeping mattress um it packs up very very small not what you would think of for a sleeping mattress but it's a camping sleeping mattress and it's just unnecessary we didn't need it just as we didn't need the tent and the sleeping bag so number 10 is go tubes and go tubs these are amazing products and they do not leak at all, but they are very expensive. And I just think that they're unnecessarily expensive when you can find much better options either at your local Walmart, Target, or at the location, the destination that you are actually going to. So for example, in Mexico, I actually just happened upon a container store um, this older lady and her granddaughter own this container store and it's absolutely amazing it's like a traveler's dream I want to go there like every single day and we pass by it on the bus but I went there and I got the little five millimeter um, containers that I showed you guys previously in the Amazon must-haves video and they were two pesos each that's ten cents 10 cents each for these little tiny travel containers and they had the 10 milliliter ones which were uh, 3 pesos each so that's about 15 cents so do you want to pay 15 cents for one 10 milliliter container or do you want to pay $10 or something for three of them and of course you're not going to get them for that cheap if you're in another country but still you can get them for much cheaper just without the name brand so the next one is the frog tog rain suit so this I needed a rain suit because we we're going to China in the middle of winter and I thought looking at the pictures on Amazon I thought that these were going to be very um, lightweight type rain suits maybe like the vinyl type material of like those swishy uh, like Nike workout pants or whatever and it wasn't at all the material of these frog tog rain suits is very I have no idea how to explain it but it doesn't feel good on your skin and it doesn't feel good just in general and they do not pack up small at all they are actually very very large and very thick material so we didn't use them not once and I think my mom sold them on Facebook marketplace or something like that but I bought a suit for me and a suit for my daughter and we didn't use them at all so gear for you best BPA free camping cooking set so this I actually did use a couple times and it is actually an amazing product if you are going to be camping in the wilderness and you're going to be cooking your meals. It is an amazing um, product. However, as I said, with most of these products that I'm saying don't buy for full-time travel, we are not in the camping environment. We are in Airbnbs and hotels and we don't need things like that. Uh, what we typically do is when we get to an Airbnb that we're going to stay at for a couple months at a time, then I go and buy one skillet, the one that has like the taller sides to it, and we toast bread in it, we make pasta in it, I boil water for coffee in it. All of these different things I can do with one skillet so just be creative and you don't really need to carry something like that around with you from place to place so the next is pack kit by first aid only all plus so this is basically just a first aid kit and 
yes it's not too expensive on Amazon but go to your local dollar store and get every single thing that you want for your DIY first aid kit because the thing is that you're going to get a first aid kit off Amazon and it's never going to be exactly what you want and you'll see many videos on faith or on YouTube that say the same thing that you might be able to get like a shell of a first aid kit and then you have to add and subtract until you're at the the place where you want to be with your first aid kit and I have a, a video on exactly what's in our first aid kit as well and you don't need to buy a first aid kit you can go to Walmart or Walmart or dollar store get exactly what you want for your first aid kit and be good to go and you'll spend less than ten dollars doing that so the next is the GoPro Session 5. And I know a lot of people are going to be mad that I have this on the don't buys list. And granted, you might love it and want it more than anything right now. But the thing is that I use my phone. I use my iPhone 7, which I bought in China. Not, be not the best quality. But I use my iPhone 7 for all of the videos that I do. I just use a couple different apps to do a couple filters and editing to them and that's about it and the thing is that I want to keep making videos fun I want you to see that I'm having fun making them for you and I want to feel like it is fun for me to do because if I don't feel like something's fun I'm going to stop doing it that's the point at my in my life where I'm at right now to where if something's not fun or I'm not happy doing something I can say nope not doing it anymore so I feel like with a, a camera that I would have to connect to the computer and edit on the computer and then load and all these different extra elements to it I just don't feel like it would be fun for me and that's just where I'm at right now and I'm sure many people disagree but I it is a great product and I have used it a couple times never to upload videos on YouTube but just to use as an experiment in general and it's a great product but it's just I feel like it's an additional thing in my bag that I don't need because I use my phone for everything. So that's my personal opinion. The next one is newer, um, so newer 50 in one action camera. So this is not a camera, it's a accessories kit for the GoPro. And I bought that as well when I did buy the GoPro. And a couple of good things came out of it, like a monopod that I actually used with the extension for my phone and things like that. But ultimately, it came with the GoPro, and I don't use the GoPro. So I wouldn't buy that. The Bogey Microfiber Travel Sports Towel. So this is also controversial. Many people in their travel videos say that you have to have the the microfiber towel for traveling and I agreed with that for the first six months of our travel in China they were the best product ever however we now because we left our travel towels in China use scarves and sarongs as towels and this is a game changer so we don't have to add an extra item to our backpack just for to make sure that we have a towel with us. I usually bring one scarf, one sarong with us everywhere we go, whether it's just in my day backpack or if we're going to the beach or anything like that. Um, go to amusement parks where they have water rides, things like that. I always have one with me so that we are able to dry off or put a towel down at the beach, anything like that. And it's just perfect because you don't have to buy something additional for your backpack. And then the final product that I have on here is the Lily and Drew Travel Jewelry Storage um, little zipper pouch thing. And it's an amazing product if you have tons of jewelry that you're traveling with. But if you have a lot of jewelry you're traveling with, then you're probably not traveling like me and my daughter anyways. But just having uh, something to put all your jewelry in, I feel like it's really unnecessary because right now at this point I don't have any necklaces I have my dog tags and that's it but I plan to get one necklace for fancier occasions but having one necklace it's not gonna get tangled with anything but itself and I usually have two sets of earrings that I wear sometimes and that's about it so you don't really need anything like that and it's just gonna be an additional thing in your backpack so those are the mmm 17 items that I have for you guys as Amazon don't buys for full-time travel based on how me and my daughter travel. So I know that many people are going to have differing opinions from mine, but this is just our personal opinion and what I bought off Amazon and 
currently do not travel with and do not feel like I need. So it was great seeing, talking to you guys and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on notifications and I'll see you in our next video. Bye!